Hello, YouTube. <laughs> All right, I'm actually at um, Harbor Freight right now. I had to swap out the air compressor that I had bought the other day because I had bought, um, I don't know, let's, let's skip that. I had bought the kind that's a tire inflator, and it turns out it didn't have the attachment that I need to do an RV dually tire. And I came here to buy the attachment, the, um, the tip, and they don't make it for the regular uh, air inflators. So one of the managers told me to swap it out for this um, full-blown air compressor because they do have a kit here that has the tip. Because essentially what I need is this, this special tip right here. And I'll have to show in the, another segment on how I did the air in the RV tire. But on the dually, it has one that you could use a straight one that you push through the hole. And on the front tire, it comes up underneath. You can't access it unless you put this in like a hook. See, there's, there's a little inflator tip. But anyhow, that's not why we're here. We're actually here to try to show you how to get power if you really need it right now in an emergency type situation. Um, the easiest way to get power for your vehicle or your home to make sure you have some power, if you know nothing about anything, is to pick up one of these portable, three-in-one portable power packs, jump start kits, sets. This is a four-in-one. They're running anywhere from like between $39 to $100, depending on what kind of model you get, whether you get it from Harbor Freight, AutoZone, Walmart. Basically, it's going to be in the automotive section, and essentially what you're going to be asking for is a jump starter um, power pack. And what they have is, um, depending on how elaborate you get it, they may either just do jump start and have 12 volt access, although some of them, like this full blown one here, it has an air compressor, it also has like 120 volt, I think this one has 120 volts, no this one doesn't have an inverter. Some of them, like this one, I guess, a five in one. This one here, let's see. Yeah, it has an inverter. The key you're looking for is what's known as an inverter. And what an inverter does is it converts 12 volts to 120 volts. So you can run your um, 120 volt appliances. You're not going to be able to run the air conditioner or even refrigerator off one of these because. Um, it's not meant for that. It's meant for like running like a little lamp or something for a while or a little fan or maybe even a little TV. Um, but these lights, I mean these um, power packs honestly will not last you more than like maybe 30 minutes to an hour if you try to run one of those. But um, they are useful for doing things like charging your um, cell phone because they generally come with like a USB port. Um, they have 120 volt and so you can run regular 120 volt stuff like your computers and whatnot and they have 12 volt access so you can run things like a 12 volt automotive fan so that's what i would recommend getting in an emergency situation and just to have with your vehicle whether you live in your vehicle or it's just a vehicle that you you know you drive back and forth to work because it can it can jump start your vehicle it can do all that and if they didn't put a, a reverse charge circuit in the block it you can easily recharge these units um, by plugging it you know hooking it up as if you were jump starting your car while your car is running and what will happen is the alternator in your car will generate electricity and recharge these battery packs super fast like 10-15 minutes it'll charge it back up otherwise they'll expect you to plug it into a 120 volt power source or 12 volt source from your vehicle and take a long time to charge but if you want it it says up to 20 hours of 12 volt power on a single charge so you could run 12 volts uh, a fan that means you could run um, a 12 volt fan like an automotive fan and have it blow at you all night for like 10 hours and still have a little bit of power left over then recharge the system back up and this one even includes lights so that's what I would recommend if you knew nothing else get one of these things it's called a portable power pack and you can pick them up from Walmart you can pick them up from AutoZone generally they're used for jump starting a vehicle but get one that has um, an inverter in it and it wouldn't hurt to get one that has an air compressor so you can um, blow up tires and stuff like that um, uh, power supply so you can run like 12 volt things and has like little flashlights on it in case like your car broke down and you ha were in the dark and you would have some lights shining on you. Highly, highly recommended that you carry one of those in your vehicle or have one for emergency situations like this where the hurricane could end up giving you no power. Um, now if you want to get a little bit more advanced, okay, and maybe you don't have a hundred 
and $20 to get one of those, you know, five-in-one units. It's generally to run about $100 for one of those that has everything, but it's the simplest way to have, like, the ability to charge a cell phone and stuff without doing anything weird. Um, generally, the inverter, it'll tell you how many um, watts it generates, but usually on these things, they usually go under 200 watts, like 120 um, watt inverter, which means you can't really do anything like cook or anything like that on it. And you can't even run, you can't really run like um, power tools like drills, although some of them might go up high enough. Um, really, my recommendation if you want to run things like power tools and possibly use a rice cooker is to get what's known as a power inverter, one of these things. And once again, they sell this in the automotive section. It's going to be called a power inverter or a power converter. And the price runs anywhere from um, the lowest ones I've seen were like $10. Around here, you can see you can get some for $14, uh, $19. This one says um, 80 watts continuous, 160 watt peak. So basically, this is an 80 watt inverter. And it plugs into the cigarette lighter port on your car. And on the other end, it has like um, the 120 volt access and maybe even a USB possibly. I don't know if this one includes yet. It says you get one USB port. So something like this, you would plug into your car while it's running and you can run um, a device up to 80 watts. Okay. So th generally something like this will cost about 15 to $20. And you can use that um, by plugging it into your cigarette lighter in your car. And you, you generally you can either have the accessory port turned on or have your car running but you can't run too much on it because see this thing that says 80 watts uh, electronic devices typically have a rating on how many watts they require you can see like at the bottom of it where the plug goes in it'll say like 300 watts 1200 watts 800 watts or whatever it needs so what it needs your power inverter has to be able to provide. So this one could run small devices, maybe even a laptop computer, but it might have a hard time with a f big screen TV, okay? And the other problem with it is these things do drain your battery. And you're like, what battery? Uh, they run off your automotive battery. And the smaller ones have like cigarette lighter plugs that plug in so that um, you just stick it in the cigarette lighter port and you get 120 volt power from the other end. So it's the simplest to use, and like I said, they run as low as I've seen them for $9 for a small one. Here, I think, you know, you can get them for about $20 here at um, at Harbor Freight. But they sell them at Walmart, they sell them at AutoZone. If you want to get a little bit more elaborate and do what I did, which is cook in your vehicle, you're going to need a little bit more power, okay? And what I actually recommend, because I use a 300-watt rice cooker from Walmart, which if you want to learn more about that, Watch the playlist, Cooking with Denoy, using the inverter cooking system. You'll see how I was able to cook using a, a 400 watt or a 350 watt inverter and a 300 watt rice cooker. So you can pick up an inverter that's like 400 watts or more. I recommend getting something like this 750 watts. You want to get more than you need. Well, the one you want to look at, it says um, 750 watts continuous, not peak. Peak is um, when you turn things on, it jumps up and then it jumps back down. So you want like a 750 watt inverter is very useful because with this size, you can run a rice cooker easily and you could, you could run two rice cookers. Two rice cookers would be 600 watts. Um, the rice cookers I'm talking about are the small little ones. The, the larger rice cookers take 800 to 1000 or even 1200 watts, which you would not be able to run on this 750 watt inverter. So if you're gonna you cook using a small rice cooker, you can get a 750 watt inverter here at Harbor Freight for $45. And you probably, you might be able to get the 20% discount if you Google Harbor Freight discount coupon, okay? So definitely worth getting. Um, and what you do is, notice it's got like a battery jumper connectors here on this end. Sorry about the camera not focusing here. You plug the red to the red on the battery of your car and the black to the black on the battery of your car. Then you turn this on and then the 120 volt ports kick in. And then you can just plug in a 120 volt line and use it like you would your house electricity. Now what happens when you're doing that? It's draining your car battery. Yeah. So your car battery can eventually go dead. 
But what you want to do is um, on the good ones, they actually have a readout that you can look at to see how much power remains in your automotive car battery, you know, the starter battery. Basically, a full charge on a car battery, is it should read like 12.8. But it, when it drops down, it should start to use um, the power. It'll say like 12.7, 12.6, 12.5, 12.4, 12.3, 12.2, 12.1. When it gets to 12.1, you really need to stop using any more power from it. And you need to recharge it back up. And how you recharge your car battery is just start your car up and let it run for about 10-15 minutes. It'll start um, the alternator in your car is actually generating electricity and we use that electricity to charge up your car battery then you can run this again so um, if you're cooking though it'll actually pull power out very fast because if you're pulling out like 300 watts or so it'll drain the battery in like 10 minutes 10 15 minutes so to cook I typically have to start the car up and leave it running while the inverter is on and the rice cooker is on and if you want to learn more about how that is done um, watch my um, playlist for the Cooking with Dinoy playlist on how I built the inverter cooking system. So at its very simplest, all you do is get a 400-watt um, inverter or the 750-watt one, um, open up your car hood, hook up these connections, plug in your 120 volts appliance. You could get a, a you know, heavy-gauge extension cord, plug it into here, and then at the other end, um, plug in your device, and you can cook. <laughs> I, I did some experiments where I just ran the line, I ran an extension cord, I hooked, you know, I had this mounted under the hood of the vehicle, which isn't the best because it gets hot under there, but I ran that line directly into the back, into the van, and from there I could cook from there. I had 120 volt power access. And if you wanted to get even more um, sophisticated to run things like big power tools, like um, jigsaws, drills, and things like that, well, the 750 watts will probably run a drill, but um, to make sure you can really run it, you might want to go up to 1,000 watts. And as you go up in wattage, they tend to cost more. But this one has 1,000 watts continuous, 2,000 watts peak. You don't really have to pay too much attention to the peak um, because the one you want is this one. So this will run 1,000 watts, which means you can run devices up to about 800 or so watts. So some cooking, like cook, crock, not crock, crock pots only use about 80 watts, which means you could run in one of these easily, or even one of these 200 watt ones. To, to run a crock pot, you could run this one, it's like 25, 24 or $30 cheap, very small, you could run a crock pot on it. But if you wanted to run like a skillet or something, I think those things require anywhere from 800 to 1200 watts. So if you had, you know, you look on where the, the plug connects into that device, where, you know, the, the power plug, the power cord, where it goes into the device, there's usually a sticker that tells how many watts it requires. Most cookware requires 120, I mean, um, 1,200 watts. So this wouldn't be powerful enough. In that case, you're going to want one of these things that say 1,500 watts or 2,000 watts or higher. Now, they had one that was 2,000 watts for $169 there, but you can see it's gone because I took the last one. <laughs> it's in my... Um, my van right now but I'm going to show you how we hook that up and set up a little sample cooking episode you know if we get an opportunity just to show you how we can cook rice or anything on it because I'm able to generate up to 2,000 watts and they have one here for 3,000 watts which actually would be almost like a tiny house you could run off this remember this is not the battery this is just converting the battery power to that many watts but at 3,000 watts if you went through an automotive battery it would run out really fast if you use that much power but if you had several batteries in a bank and you had solar panels or an alternator charging the system up while you're using it you you could be able to run an air conditioner off this thing now I picked up the 2000 watt ones because I didn't want to spend four hundred dollars for this 3000 watt inverter I got a 2000 watt inverter for hundred and sixty nine dollars and I had a coupon it wouldn't let me do the twenty percent discount on on it but the gentleman up at the front rung it up and gave me a discount coupon for um, buying a one-year extended warranty for $29 for $30 and if you do that it gives you a $40 discount so basically I got $10 off and I got a one-year warranty on it so I paid like a hundred and 
I think it was like a hundred and um, a total. I think the thing went up like a hundred and twenty-nine dollars plus forty dollar or thirty dollar. I don't know what the warranty was, but long story short, I got a good deal on it. So a two thousand watt inverter, in theory, should be able to run a five thousand BTU air conditioner, which I think uses about six or eight hundred watts normal continuous now the battery banks though you might have to have several batteries to make that work but I'm going to test it out and see how well it works and how fast it drains the power so stay tuned for that but this is pretty much the basics of how you can use your vehicle as um, a generator to generate electricity to power your devices um, the main thing I would use uh, this sort of power for is um, in my van, I used it for cooking, but I also used it to run power tools to do construction out in the woods, out in the middle of nowhere. I ran my drill, I ran my jigsaw, um, I also ran my um, rice cooker almost pretty much on a daily basis to cook food. So I was able to cook using electricity in my van, just like I was in a house. And the battery would recharge using the alternator, so it's almost like free energy for me. Um, we're not going to get too complicated right now because if you're watching this video, you're probably pretty new and this might seem overwhelming. But the, the thing you really need is called a power inverter or a power converter. It's the same thing. And if you want to cook with it, you probably want to get one that's at least 400 watts. But I would say get one that's at least 750 watts just to give yourself a little bit more room. And if you want to make sure that you can use... Um, like a skillet or something like that, they usually require 1,200 watts. That means you would need to get one that says 1,500 watts or more. At that point, you're looking at $150 to $200 for one of these. I suggest getting something like this 750 watts because it's only $45. And, you know, you could cook with this thing. So you get this $45 inverter for 750 watts, use your carb battery, and you get a $15 rice cooker. So let's see, that's 45 and 15, that's 55, $60. You can have a free cooking system for your vehicle. I mean, it'll run off the electricity generated by your car. Of course, you're burning gasoline to do that. And if you have 750 watts, you could be cooking, and you could have another plug pulling lights to light up your house or to charge up um, your devices and whatnot. So, I hope you found this information informative. So, those of you who needed to generate power, hopefully you found this helpful. So, until next time, everyone, take care. God bless you all. Please stay safe. Bye-bye now.